Welcome to Rocket ATM Tutorials. We do provide processing services, so please feel free to give us a call to get connected. This video is going to demonstrate how to change out a I.O. board or even a main board on a Hyosung ATM machine. I'm going to demonstrate this on a Halo 2. So if you go ahead and open the top door, the key right up on top, of course, mine's open. Uh, in order to get to the back side where the boards are, I'm going to give ourselves a little bit of more working area by removing two screws. There's one on this side of the bracket, which I've already removed, and the other one on this side of the bracket. Don't touch the ones in the front. Once you have those screws removed, you'll be able to give yourself a lot more working area. And with now the front bezel pushed forward, in order to change out the I.O. board, which stands for input output board, or even the main board, we need to access this cover and remove it. Or even actually changing the screen, we gotta get into this by doing this. So, this cover, is protected by one little screw right over here. So that's it. Nothing fancy. It's one little screw. Once that's out, this cover will just be lifted up and then out. Of course, the power is off in this scenario. And there we go, I got that cover removed. The big board is the input-output board. The small board here is the main board. And here's the modem board on this particular unit. You can have variations of this with other machines, but essentially the concept is the same. The big board is the input-output board. The small board is the main board. So, changing out the I.O. board will essentially remove the main board with it, which is fine, but four screws, one, two, three, four, and a whole bunch of little connectors all over the place. A bunch of them on this side. Now, what I generally like to do is just take a picture in, in various ways before I start to begin, because if there is something that's forgotten, uh, it's helpful to review your pictures, although this is engineered in a very nice way such that some of these connectors will will not fit elsewhere. You can't get them to fit. You know, if you take this one off, it's not going to fit over here, for example. It'll only fit where it, it's designed to fit. And all you're really doing is just unplugging these connectors or pinching these little other connectors off by by doing that and putting them back into place. Again, once you get them taken off, you can't really stick them in the wrong way. It is engineered very nicely so that you don't make any mistakes. Uh, so same thing with all of these connectors. You just want to pinch them off one by one. And uh, start removing all these cables. And once you get them put back in, you just make sure you get a nice click sound and get that all put in. Um, one very important cable that I want you to bring, bring to your attention is the LCD cable over here. It's a very, very sensitive cable. You want to be careful. There are different types of connectors on this, but, uh, the bottom line is, is all you're really doing is sort of pinching this connector off. Once you remove this and get it in your hand, it might be a little bit easier, but there's it's a multi-ribbon cable, which is just connected in a small little tiny slot here. You wanna be careful of that. Um, removing the main board, you can see that these little pins here, all these little, little pins on the flip side of it are teeth. They're little, little pins that they're, they're plugged into this this board here, and all you gotta do is sort of start lifting it off gradually from one end to the next. Here you can see up on top here how those pins are basically coming out. There you go, you can see how I'm just changing out the main board. 
there you go those little pins there you want to be gentle not to bend them too much and so there we go we just popped out a main board as you can see those pins you don't want to bend them you want to make sure that they're nice and straight so that when it comes time to putting this thing back together again you can easily align up those pins it is so critical to make sure that these pins line up properly because one wrong move and you'll not only blow up your main board but you'll probably end up blowing up your IO board so that there is a perfect match and I'm just gonna go ahead and push that back into place nice and tight so the only thing I haven't really shown you is getting into that little LCD cable which powers up your screen from your input output board but when you get in and loosen this board out it's a little bit more easier to to take out sometimes there's like a little clamp on them on some machines you want to be mindful of sort of removing that clamp either by flipping it up and and so if you can just imagine it's like a little flap so if, if you have the cable is connected inside if you lift the flap up the, the cable will come loose you put the flap down or you put the cable back in and you clamp it down again so either either which case and there are some that have a a locking mechanism as well which is like a little clamp that if you can imagine is like this and you just lift it up on one side and it's just like a, like a little hinge on one side and you lift it up and then the cable will come out and then you lock it back down again and it locks into place. So that's how you change out a board. Thanks for watching. We do provide processing services, so please feel free to give us a call to get connected. Don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post our latest videos.